Hi everyone, I'm Amy Kaur, Senior Minister of State for the Ministry of Sustainability and Environment. As you may already be aware, groups of up to five fully vaccinated or eligible persons, regardless of household, will now be able to dine in together at 11 hawker centres and 7 coffee shops from 23rd November. The remaining hawker centres will come on board the 5 packs dine-in by end November, whilst other coffee shops can come on board as and when they have put in place the necessary control measures. I'm here today to address some common questions you may have on the implementation of vaccination checks at the entry points of hawker centres and coffee shops. Can the vaccination status checks be made on patrons in the dining area of the hawker centre rather than at the entrance which creates bottlenecks and queues at the entrance? Why can't NEA continue to do selective checks on diners' vaccination status in the hawker centres? With easing of dine-in restrictions, we anticipate more people entering hawker centres to dine-in. Hence, we need to better ensure that only fully vaccinated and eligible persons do so, whilst the unvaccinated or partially vaccinated can still continue to purchase takeaway. Entry checks on vaccination status at hawker centres will be more comprehensive to ensure compliance with vaccination differentiated safe management measures and to better protect the unvaccinated who are at higher risk of infection and severe illness. We note that these checks are done relatively quickly by the malls and other premises. While queues are not expected most of the time, the NEA will work with the Town Council to look into providing spaces for queuing if required and where possible. Why can't wristbands be used instead of stickers to differentiate the vaccination status of patrons? Stickers come off easily and patrons may discard them indiscriminately within the hawker centre. Currently, the use of stickers is still the most common and effective method. Wristbands can also result in littering if they are not treated with care and they take up time to be put on patrons. Remaining hawker centres are expected to similarly have entry checks in place and also be permitted to have groups of up to five vaccinated persons dine in by 30th November. In the meantime, the restriction of dine in by up to two fully vaccinated persons will continue to apply for the remaining hawker centres. How will patrons know if a hawker centre is ready to allow up to five fully vaccinated or eligible persons per group to dine in? Will NEA continue to do selective vaccination status checks in the remaining hawker centres or will the verification of patrons' vaccination status be done at the access points? If the hawker centre is checking for vaccination status, this means that they have these requirements in place to allow for groups of up to five fully vaccinated persons to dine there. Otherwise, dining in at hawker centres without full BDS checks will remain at groups of up to two fully vaccinated persons. The remaining hawker centres will continue to have their seats cordoned off to facilitate dining in for groups of up to two fully vaccinated persons. Safe distancing enforcement officers will continue to do selective vaccination checks on diners at all hawker centres and strict enforcement will be taken against those who are unvaccinated and found dining at our hawker centres. How are coffee shops expected to have fixed entry points to check customers' vaccination status? Yes, we know it is challenging as coffee shops are porous with many entry and exit points. As such, there are constraints in cordoning off areas and closing off access points due to the layouts of certain coffee shops. For instance, some coffee shops have eating areas that cut across the HDB blocks 
five foot way. This may make it difficult for them to cordon off the whole area as it will affect and inconvenience residents. As such, we are giving them the option to decide if they would like to put in place the necessary measures so that they can allow five packs dine in at their premises. If needed, operators can also reach out to the SFA and we will work with them to explore solutions to suit their needs and layout, such as not blocking the walkway. Why do coffee shop operators need to be able to conduct comprehensive checks on diners in order for the five packs dine-in rule to be extended to them? Some coffee shop operators have shared with me that it is challenging to check on diners' vaccination status due to a lack of manpower. Whilst I understand their concerns, I do hope that they can explore doing so as it will protect the unvaccinated, including seniors and children below the age of 12, from becoming severely ill due to COVID-19. Dining in at coffee shops, similar to other F&B establishments, remains a high-risk activity. Given the constant flow of diners, chatting and eating with their masks off in close proximity with each other for long periods of time. Instead of coffee shop operators, can safe distancing enforcement officers and ambassadors conduct regular checks on diners' vaccination status and addresses. Our safe distancing enforcement officers and ambassadors currently conduct regular checks on F&B establishments, including hawker centres and coffee shops, to ensure that SMMs are observed. They have also stepped up checks at certain areas where we have received feedback on SMM breaches and hotspots. However, it is not practical for our safe distancing enforcement officers and ambassadors to be at all locations, conducting checks 24-7. We need the cooperation of the coffee shop operators to do their part to check that their diners are fully vaccinated if they wish to accommodate dine-in of up to five pets at their premises. This is similar to other F&B establishments where the operators are responsible to ensure that their diners adhere to the prevailing SMMs. Coffee shop operators can also alert the SFA if they encounter cases where diners breach SMM despite the measures that they have already put in place. Lastly, patrons should also do their part to strictly follow the SMMs that have been put in place to protect ourselves and our loved ones. How will the public know if a coffee shop they are visiting can accommodate groups of up to five fully vaccinated persons for dine-in. If a coffee shop has cordoned off access point and is checking on vaccination status at a fixed entry point, this means that they have the requirements in place to allow for groups of up to five fully vaccinated persons to dine at their premises. Signs will also be displayed at the entrances of coffee shops to inform patrons of the adjusted vaccination differentiated safe management measures and dine-in restrictions. SFA will also regularly update its website with the list of coffee shops that are accommodating the five packs dine-in. I hope that I have answered your queries and concerns. Thank you everyone for doing your part to keep our community dining places safe amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. Individual responsibility is key. It is an important, effective and sustainable way to keep our society safe. We urge all individuals to continue observing the vaccination differentiated safe management measures and dine-in restrictions. We will continue to work closely with our hawker associations and coffee shop operators to put in place the additional measures 
to allow those who are fully vaccinated to enjoy dining out together in a safe manner. Thank you for watching this video and please share this with your families and friends too.